Hey Pisces, how are you? I hope all is well. This reading is general, so of course it won't resonate with everyone. So just take what resonates with you and do away with the rest. Yes, I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. Hey, I'm back and I'm better. You know, I had to go off for a minute, y'all, and really heal the highest part of myself so that I can receive my crown. I know that a lot of y'all are in this same energy to where you had to go and really close out several timelines in order to be in this space that you're at now, Pisces. I feel like what's happening here is, is you're coming back into yourself like fully. You're being able to sit around the round table as an elder, okay? I'm getting that this last, uh, that turmoil that you went through that was your last upgrade, okay? I'm getting like full crown chakra activation. I also was getting like nemesis activated. This is like the story of Alice, like falling down the rabbit hole, but being able to slay the Jabberwocky, come up out of the rabbit hole, mastering this kundalini energy, becoming the master magi. The master of light and dark. That's what this was all about. Like passing the test that you needed to pass in order to be the best version of yourself. I also was getting um, through this channeling Michael Jackson. I'm bad. Who's bad? Okay, Pisces. I feel like you're in that energy to where it's who's bad. Okay, because you're in full activation. Your crown is straight now. The first card you have out here is the balancer, okay? I feel like when it comes to this balancing card, this has a lot to do with this transformation that you made here, Pisces, okay? I also feel like, you see right here, this looks like a loop, okay? This looks like the universe right here, and then this looks like a loop. So I feel like you completed that last loop of time that you needed to... Um, past in order to make this full transformation you walk through that door it's almost like um you came back as the balancer to help someone balance something out too you're fully balanced in your energy here okay i'm also getting that someone around you pisces might be going through the dark night of the soul that's what i'm getting here okay the balancer says, soar beyond all limiting concepts and embrace your spiritual self in the place beyond female and male where we all truly are one energy. And I feel like this is you in full balance when it comes to your feminine and your masculine energy, Pisces. This doesn't matter whether you're a male or a female. I feel, I feel like you're in full balance, whoever you are, okay? And then also... The moon card you have is this new moon, okay? It says the time is ripe for seeking new opportunities. Right now, Pisces, I feel like you're becoming the seeker. This kind of gives me like the Harry Potter feel where you become the seeker and you realize that you have these unlimited abilities when you start seeking this thing out here, okay? Yes, I'm here for this 11-11 portal, baby, because it's open for you, Pisces. It's open for you to become the balancer now, okay? You know, like you've mastered this thing here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces today? I'm getting that someone, look, the car's just falling everywhere. I'm getting that someone needs your help for you to help balance them out, Pisces. That's what I'm getting, okay? I'm also getting that this full moon right here cut out something permanently, okay? Something permanently so that you can start this new phase in your life, okay? So that you can be completely balanced. No one will be able to get you off balance anymore. That's what I'm getting. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces today? Give me some more messages for Pisces, Spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces? Look, the three of pentacles, I feel like this is some type of collaboration that's coming in, Pisces. Someone sees that you can balance out something and they want to have some type of collaboration with you. I'm, I'm getting that they see your skills. You're also um, learning this new skill or there's a skill that's been hidden or laying dormant and it's coming to the forefront now, okay? You have the fool. You have the fool taking a leap of faith, and then you have the nine of pentacles, Pisces. So I feel like you're you're definitely in this energy of taking this leap of faith towards this 
uh, very independent energy. I feel like you're in this space now, Pisces, where you feel like you don't need no one to help you build what you need to build. I feel like you're a self-motivator here, okay? See, by you being the self-motivator that you are, you help bring not only yourself into balance but other people and that make people want to work with you because they see how balanced sure you are pisces okay they see how independent you are with this energy spirit why is the three of pentacles here okay we got the ace of wands yes this is some type of new idea new opportunities are coming your way yes this new moon is bringing in these new opportunities for you pisces okay i feel like you got to stay balanced in the mind. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting do not get thrown off. Do not get thrown back into this loop because this loop is like um I'm getting it's kind of like a black hole. Like it's easy to if you get too close to it to get sucked in. So I'm getting that maybe you need to stay back from some energies that you might get sucked into during this time. Definitely with this 1111 portal being open, okay? It's for you to walk through the portal portal and you not get too close to um whoever this person is that needs this help in a sense of balance i feel like it's two people here okay that's what spirits gets two scenarios it's one person that's coming in that has some, a sum of money they're very independent as well they want you to collaborate with them to help something come to fruition then you also have someone from your past pisces and this is black hole energy they're holding on to a lot of negative dark energy and it's like this energy knows how to come in and kind to get you close to it so it can suck you in so i feel like be very careful of that okay spirit why is the fool here for pisces we got the ten of swords yeah being stabbed in the back i feel like you have to be very cautious of this dark energy that wants to kind of take you over pisces that's what i'm getting this energy kind of want to take you over before you walk through this portal so it's like right now it's like um you need to be protecting your energy at all costs that's what i'm getting okay up under the bottom of the deck the page of pentacles yes because this this is a, this page is like some type of new beginning that's coming to you pisces okay that you probably need to be very cautious and protect right now okay spirit look the nine of pentacles is here because of the king of cups someone wants to come in with an offer okay whoever this king of cups is they it's like they had some type of epiphany pisces either this king of cups because you know like i said the two scenarios either um I'm, I'm kind of getting that. The, okay, Spirit is giving me that this King of Cups is the person that has this new business venture for you and that wants to balance out something, okay? Because with this King of Cups, he's holding his cup upright, okay? Because it's almost like he has an independence about him too. So whoever this King of Cups, he's the one that's coming in to collaborate with you, Pisces, in this new beginning. So I'm getting like new love energy. Because I can remember saying before in the past that whomever it is that you're supposed to be with, it's like y'all are spiritually aligned in some type of way or supposed to be working together in some type of way. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Spirit, why is this Ace of Wands here for Pisces? Okay, the Ace of Wands is here because of the Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you have been truthful with yourself, Pisces, about these past third party situations and that's what you let go of yes because that was the energy that was holding you back okay that's the energy that kept stabbing you in your back over and over again it's almost like you became so used to being stabbed with these swords till you can pull them out at will it's like you have your sword now it's like ready to use this sword that someone tried to use against you that's what i'm getting with this queen of swords you're ready to pull this sword out on somebody that tried to to annihilate you in some type of way Pisces. that's what i'm getting okay i'm getting also with this new moon energy it's gonna have you in a very stern energy like no bullshit like i'm not playing do not even think you finna try it that's what i'm hearing okay spirit why is the ten of swords here for pisces why is the ten of swords here for pisces spirit why is the ten of swords here 
Okay, the Ten of Swords is here. The Page of Swords. Oh, somebody spying Pisces. Whoever this is that, that felt like they had annihilated you. Okay, they're spying. Okay, they're spying because they see these new opportunities coming in for you, Pisces. Yes, they're spying because they can no longer have you in this whirlwind with these third-party situations. Okay? They're spying because... It's like they see this independence in you. Plus, their spying is going to help them walk up on or be able to see who the universe has lined up coming in for you, Pisces. Okay? Who is this King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces, Spirit? Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces? The King of Cups is here for Pisces because of this Five of Cups. Yes, these cups that were spilled over in this third-party situation. Yeah, this King of Cups has come to save you, Pisces. He's this lover with these two cups. Yes, this King of Cups has come into play to kind of save the day. That's what I'm getting, okay? He, he has come into place to save the day, to save you from this situation, or to save get you off this loop. That's what I'm getting, okay? You're getting off a loop. You're getting off of the Ferris wheel. That's what I'm getting, too, from Spirit. That you are kind of like on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> you know, that's like the slowest ride. It's like, uh, it starts to get boring after a while. So, whoever this person is from the past that's holding on to this shadow energy, okay, they're bored. They're bored. They're ready to get off the wheel, too. And it's almost like they know that you're the only one that can help balance them out and help them transform in the way that they need to help them walk through this door. <laughs> Juicy. Spirit, give me some more messages for Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces? Okay. We have this Queen of Cups. Yes, Pisces. You in this very nurturing energy. That's what I'm saying. See, that's what's being seen here. You're being shown for who you really are, okay? Because I feel like this last upgrade helped you embrace the person that you are. Definitely you being the natural nurturer. You're understanding that you can only nurture certain situations. You're nurturing yourself now. That's what I'm getting from the Queen of Cups. Then you have this Six of Cups here. Yes, we somebody's reminiscing Pisces, okay? Reminiscing about how it used to be but it's too late about the used to be because we have the Eight of Pentacles here, okay? This is like you planted something that's coming about now and I feel like whatever it was that you planted is coming out during this new moon cycle and it has a lot to do with this king of cups energy someone able to to help you come out of this queen of swords energy and step into this queen of cups energy your authentic self because i feel like spirit is nudging you to not have to be defensive no more feel like you've always been stabbed in the back so you got to have your sword up and ready whoever this king of cups is see look because we got a match here because he's putting his cup upright for you then your cup is being poured into okay oh look pisces this is gonna be i know this is gonna be all extended okay because this past energy is is i feel like it's permanent it's lurking in some type of way I feel like whoever this is from the past, Pisces, they see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? They see you abundant in this new situation that you're in, okay? They knew that you had the emotions, okay? When you showed them the Queen of Cups energy, they know you had that down pat. But when you get filled up emotionally, then it's going to help you be more fruitful when it comes to your pentacles and your money. And I feel like that's what this King of Cups is going to do for you. He's going to fulfill you emotionally. So you, you, it's going to be easy for the money to come about because I feel like that's what you were missing. You were missing emotional fulfillment and that was making you lacking your finances. But by you getting this emotional fulfillment, your finances is going to prosper, Pisces, okay? 
Spirit, give me a few more messages for Pisces today. Give me a few more messages for Pisces in this 1111 energy, okay? It's gonna, I feel like it's gonna be some type of duel, Pisces, or fight for your love. That's what I'm getting, okay? We got the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody from the past, they were, they, they were, they went somewhere else. Oh, that's what I'm getting. Went somewhere else and thought something was gonna grow, but they're sitting there waiting. They're sitting there waiting on whatever it is that supposed to be growing and it's not growing for them okay that's what i'm getting with this um seven of pentacles energy we got the ace of cups i feel like this ace of cups is coming from this king of cups okay and that's what this past person sees okay they all i also feel like this ace of pentacles is coming in because of this king of cups because you have your emotional fulfillment and you have your money fulfilled okay you get love and money this time around pisces that's what i'm hearing okay when this new cycle come in baby you're gonna be fully transformed if you went through the steps and and you did with your healing and did what you needed to do, then you're right where you need to be, Pisces. Now, I know that everybody is on different timelines, so don't let that discourage you because you're going to be able to navigate through this thing. It's showing it right here. It's showing that you are the mastermind, Pisces. We always the mastermind age. You gotta love it, baby. Okay, we had the two of cups, Pisces. I'm telling you, this new love, I'm getting that they they are not what you expect. That's what Spirit is showing me with these two cups because I feel like that's what's been holding you back. Whoever this new love is or whatever, this person that wants to give you this emotional fulfillment, you don't know who they... It, it's almost like you're puzzled about something. It's like you don't even know who they are in a sense or whatever because you're not expecting it. It's it's somebody that the universe has for you versus who you have for yourself. That's what I'm getting. Seven of Cups energy here. You're going to have options, Pisces, okay? That's why I said I feel like some type of energy of somebody might be fighting for your love because you're going to have options. You're going to have more than these two suitors that want to come in, male or female. It don't matter. Okay. This is going to be juicy. I can't wait to this unfold. Okay. See what this going to be like. See how Pisces is going to handle it. You know, by by now, you should be in full balance with yourself, Pisces, because you came through some rough shit. If you made it over, hey, then you came through it. And I feel like um, whoever this reading is for is definitely for, for somebody that's at their highest level of themselves. So they ain't taking no shit from nobody, okay? It's almost like the energy of um, I'm totally doing away with what don't serve me at the door. You don't pass go. Okay, or go straight to jail. <laughs> like, it, I'm not having it. Spirit, just give me a few more messages for Pisces. Just get a few more messages. I'm just trying to be nosy because I want to see what is going down. Okay, look, the hang one. Somebody's in, I feel like this hangman energy is it, it definitely someone from the past. I feel like someone from the past might have did something to you, Pisces. They thought they were going to hang you, and they ended up hanging themselves. And that's why they want to come back in for some type of balance. Also, I feel like they want to throw you off balance. That's what they've been doing this whole time. Whoever this, this shadow person is from the, the past that's got their eye on every move you make. Because I feel like they watching every move you make because they know that it's almost like they got to have you in their life in some type of way to create some type of balance Pisces it's almost like this is their karma for doing you the way that they did you like they're not gonna be fulfilled unless you're in their life oh that's deep okay we have the moon here yes because there's a lot of things that's hidden i'm also getting that these options these options definitely have something to do with people from the past so i'm getting do not get caught up with this moon card in any type of illusions that a person might try to bring about i feel like there's some type of mirroring energy here okay and with this mirroring energy being here i feel like it's somebody that's going to come in trying to mirror your energy to get it in you know it's almost like this black hole this is a this hole is lighter but i feel like that's how they're gonna come trying to make it appear to be 
all pretty when it's really dark. Okay. Then you have this three of swords. Yes, Pisces. It's whoever this is that's trying to suck you back in. It's like a vacuum. I'm getting like the Hoover. Okay. We're getting Hoover energy here because this person see you. Um, in this energy with this new love. I'm saying that if this is not happening at this time, you best believe I'm predicting it right now. It's going to happen. This person is going to watch this new love come in your life and then they're going to come back around trying to hoover you, trying to suck you back into this dark energy, trying to start up some type of new cycle, try to start up some type of new contract with you. That's what I'm getting, okay? Because whatever um, that they left you and we to the, the, those contracts or like null and void they can't get nothing out of that energy oh come on Holy spirit ten of pentacles yes pisces this is what they see they see this new love and this abundance coming in for you and this ten of pentacles they see you at your happiest now i'm getting um um brian mcknight one last what is it one last try they they try to put you out of their mind pisces but they want to give it one last try and i'm saying that i'm not saying that this person doesn't have feeling for you but it's mostly because they see you glowing pisces they see the come up most of the time that's usually why people want to latch on because something is shiny and remember pisces when you were really shiny they came around and dusted you up and had you looking all dull and now that you're shiny again they want to come back around they want to spin the block that's how it is you do not want to go get sucked in this repetitive cycle okay a cycle that's already over look that the lovers is here for you you're you're uniting with this king of cups energy here Pisces okay the knight of wands this is who this person is from the past okay uh-huh I'm gonna keep on going with this that's the reading if it resonated with you in any way give me a thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe peace